They're a very, very threatening enemy. You always gotta watch out for them. has survived. So we gotta treat this fight ultra seriously. Actually recover that whiskey is too puny. Oh man. We got bonked. We didn't take much damage, but again, if we don't get any health drops, that could add up. See, generally you just don't want to use the pipe or the sword as Cody for that reason. Cody has like really bad active frames and uh, speed on his pipe and sword swings. Hagar can use them effectively, but Cody and Guy can't really. Cody, you just want to stick with the knife. That's why you never see me using them. I don't know what the fuck is happening in this fight. We're going to have to get very lucky to make it through, sadly. Like we just gotta pray that we get actual food drops in both the remaining item containers. It's 
so dirty that they can do that. At the very least, we have some stuff, though. But, again, we gotta get food from that last one, or we're in trouble. seemed kind of scary. I was really worried one of those was going to hit me. By the way, do you want to know a fun secret? Molotov guys can hit kill you. Every once in a while, it's like really uncommon. I'm not sure exactly like what's causing it. It's clearly an AI bug. But Molotov guys are based on the knife enemies, of course. They have the same name, the same sprite. And just like knife guys have that attack where they uh, jump at you and stab downward. Sometimes Molotov guys can do that too. They're obviously not supposed to because they don't have the full knife guy moveset, but sometimes that gets tripped and they do it. And I assume because they're not supposed to do it, it must be something like they don't have a damage value set for that move. So it just, it just does infinite damage if it gets you. So watch out for that. shitty little Doug would not go away. Yeah, having to get from my back got me hit some. Oh, you got away.
That was really weird. Like, in neither of those fights, the, uh... uh neither of those upper Molotov guys showed up. There's supposed to be four, but there were only two. The lower two. Weird. I thought I had just knocked down the first one, like, while he was off-screen, but then the second one didn't show up either. Weird. Maybe it opens up, right? Like, we're only seeing the back wall. Maybe it's not really a narrow alley. Maybe it opens up into, like, the city or something. Maybe it's a region with a lot of history to it, and people come back here regularly, and they were like, yeah, fuck it. Billboard. Billboard in the mysterious old dingy alley. Apparently this bar is bustling because it's for evil, illegal, uh, ring fights or whatever, so... I'm sure it's lucrative to advertise to them. No, but it does look like it's just a narrow alleyway, I agree. But I guess you never really know. Don't do that to me. Oh, we got the slow fat. Okay, now we killed both of them. Now we can start tossing. I like how that steak has, like, greenery with it. So it's not just a steak, it's like a full meal. Okay, that got hairy. That was inconsiderate. I just couldn't properly manage the rock scene. She mentioned jump kicked me a couple times. Thankfully, it's not that big of a deal as long as you have that. We got double knives, but we're not going to go for knives today. Hey! You can't just do that. 
I'm gonna get rid of the knives so they don't like bother me during the fat guy fight. Let's find to take a couple hits here because we have that big food. Okay. That's very weird. What? Okay, so I was wondering about that because it seemed like it was the case, but I couldn't tell. It seemed like earlier I despawned the Andre or some other enemy that way. Damn it. know. Man, that, that sucked. I kept trying to go for an attack and it just kept picking up the knives. So I thought you had to knock enemies down to despawn them, but not necessarily. Exactly just happened? Why did Andre go the other direction? Ultimately, it doesn't make any difference, though. Well, it might, actually, if they don't die soon. Okay, so. We could be in trouble depending on how this goes with... Okay. We managed to pull through. I was worried Relento would do some bullshit. Very cruel of Relento to attack me the moment he spawned in like that, but he gave me a generous attack and that saved my life. Um, I'm not sure. No, but Andre did just despawn just now. I despawned the Andre. Oh, I kind of screwed this up. In a previous one, I think I got the Jacket Guy instead. But in this attempt, it was Andre. get a nice Bay Area intro like we did last time. Okay, even though this fight seems like a nice, simple, just punch guys fight, it has Slash in it so I could lose all my health in an instant if he feels like it. Yo, Juno, what's up? Thanks. We'll see how it goes. It's tough. 
We've gotten close several times, but that hit squad keeps getting me down. Um, let me think. I think I... I don't remember what I was thinking of, but it was some other encounter where I saw an Andre standing up that I then despawned, and I'm not sure what the deal was. Basically, uh, my vague understanding is that the despawn guys, broadly, they have to be knocked down as you're scrolling the screen away, and that if they aren't knocked down or otherwise stunned, they can keep up with the screen scroll and won't get despawned. But there are cases like the two underways who jump on you in the final stage where you can despawn them just because they're like not active for a while after they do their jump in intro, so you can just get rid of them that way. But I think if the enemy just happens to idle, which usually they won't, but they might, then you can despawn them even if you shouldn't be able to typically. Something like that, I'm not sure exactly. Okay, we got a stake. Diamond. Okay, I'm taking like a lot of unnecessary hits. We do have that stake, I suppose, but... One thing that I like about Final Fight that you don't get in some other beat em ups I've played somewhat recently. Gotta, gotta eat the steak now, I suppose. Um, in some other beat em ups I've played recently that have like similarly small movesets to Final Fight and very similar enemy design, like Capcom's Warriors of Fate, the medieval China game, which I played some of earlier, which is cool. And, um, Sailor Moon, which I, Sailor Moon, which I haven't played very much of, but it's a neat, like, arcade beat up It seems really hard, though. I think Final Fight does really well in making grabs, like, the most powerful thing, and that's really important towards making the game feel satisfying. Like, it's very fun that once you get a hold of someone, you're doing limber damage to them. It's satisfying to, like, get in there and get them stunned, and also, it gives you the, the it's like, the dichotomy. Uh, if you're using your basic attacks to do crowd control, but when you're going for big damage, you're going for a different special attack to grab stuff. And like Warriors of Fate, even though the moveset is similar to Final Fight, and it, it feels like the most Warriors of Fate is like the most Final Fight-like of all the Capcom beat 'em ups, aside from Final Fight itself. But in that game, the, like, the damage is a lot more even. Like, a full basic combo and a full grab combo uh, are basically the same damage. And it, it's just like, it's just a lot less fun that way, I think. Makes the game feel a lot flatter. I can't think of many other games that did, did like this particular moveset balance the way Final Fight did. Final Fight very definitely has its rough edges, but... It's still a pretty ultimate game. There's some stuff in here that like I wish was not the way it is, for sure. But no other game, like no other beat em up is quite as good as Final Fight, I think. Even though Streets of Rage 4 is pretty close. It's not quite there. Whoa, red. Doesn't usually happen. Come 
three axles. Every time you see them raise their arms to smash you, it's so scary. I think these grapes are going to be on screen into the mall's hub, so I want to preserve them. Almost got burned there. Oh, that weird sniper mall's hub always freaks me out. Don't worry about like, turning to face those guys, you can just get them. It's fine. Alright, knife party. We have okay health for it. Can't ever underestimate this fight. ultimate cleanest way to handle this fight, but it's passable enough. It's working. That should be it, right? Okay. Good. I've been doing okay on the knife party lately, anyway. It really is telling that, like, even this game just gives you fucking two full health restores during the knife fight. Like, they know this is gonna be kind of funky. Okay, let's make sure we can get the despawns on the, on the jacket guys, because I don't want to have to deal with them. killed that guy that might work against me. Okay, it's fine. Okay, yeah, the girl. Abigail's, um, messed up his mode. My positioning was a little off. Jerks. Okay, 
not the perfect Abigail. It's not awful though. Okay, we have a decent life count. I simply don't trust those guys. Scare me like that, guys. Come on. Maybe it's wonder to like not get at the very edge of the screen, because I think that makes them more likely to like try and wiggle around and flank me in that way. Slash. I wanted to go for another throw on him, but... I'd love to get in... Whoa, what? Worst case scenario on that, jeez. Unfathomable. God damn. To get that unlucky and get two of those in one fight. To get two of Andre's charging in in the middle of your combo like that. How cruel. What a nasty fucking thing. here because, I don't know, spicy. We don't have much of a choice. I feel like we're going to have to go for a despawn on the under is. God damn, what a cheap piece of shit. Oh well, nothing you can do in that situation. I just wish the game hadn't pulled that with the Andre earlier. 
At the very least, we despawned all three Andres, but there was no way to stop that Mohawk thing from happening. They opened one of the foods for me, at least. You can get, like, a knife over there, so it can expedite killing these guys, but... I'm just gonna like play it mega safe and just stay at like the bottom so I don't get molotoved. I couldn't grab the score items. Okay, this fight. have that knife when you're fighting Mohawks, because they can pretty easily just slip in between your stabs. I don't have, like, a super clear strategy for that room, I just kind of it and go for that. Okay, again, I want to try to stay like in the middle of them Z-axis wise. Or they can just toss out a charge and get me. I to do that previous bit. Hey. Okay, I don't like that guy slipping behind me like that. That previous despawn with the triple Andres, there's gotta be a good number of jumps you can do to not spawn in too many Mohawks afterwards. Guys.
I just managed to not exactly get him down or something like that, I suppose. Puts me in a bad spot for surviving into the hit squad. Final hallway again. Here's hoping for a food drop. No food drop. How evil. Okay, it's gonna be dicey to get past the hit squad. Gonna be going in there on empty. Always special after you punch him, or he'll jack you up. Finally reunited. The final fight. Thanks everyone for the GG's. There's Pon G meme. <sighs> oh, we got Yuki Chan's papa. They're here too.
Oh, there goes my last life. ending. This is a special ending you only get for once he's seeing the game. It's a little unfancy in the American version, but in the Japanese version all of these comments are like special unique developer comments, and there's a lot more at the beginning too, but the American version didn't, didn't retain them. But you get the, this is your special bonus for once he's seeing. That's it. Alright. Tremendously satisfied to have gotten Final Fight. What a great one.